36 hours ago, we had a tropical storm, and now we have a Category 5 hurricane, the first Category 5 hurricane in the Atlantic Basin since Hurricane Felix in 2007. Hello, everyone. I'm meteorologist Joe Chaffee, and we are looking at Hurricane Matthew, an incredibly impressive system as uh, it has now reached Category 5 status. Maximum sustained winds are 160 miles an hour, and the pressure reported by the reconnaissance aircraft is 940 millibars. You can see on the water vapor imagery the really impressive satellite, uh, the uh, bands uh, that are surrounding the eye right there. You can see it moving along. This is um, almost, it's absolutely textbook here uh, with regards to uh, Matthew. Here's your uh, the eye right there and the large circular core, the huge circulation of, of the storm, uh, taking deep tropical moisture, bringing it all the way uh, into its circulation. And it's doing this in spite of the fact that there is actually some moderate wind shear that's going on. It's, uh, it's really um, incredible that it's able to attain this intensity. And the other uh, thing that, that's important to note is that none, none of the computer models that, with regards to intensity, uh, got this right. Um, the global models, the hurricane models, none of them uh, reached the intensity uh, that uh, that uh, Matthew has achieved now. And if you follow the eye, it is still moving on a west-southwest course. It's responding to a big upper high that's up to the north. Here's uh, the infrared view, and you can see the eye, that little pinprick right in there. I mean, it's just almost perfectly circular, incredibly impressive. Uh, this is the north coast of Colombia here. I mean, that's how far south this is. Uh, we don't often see hurricanes this far south. And now... Uh, we're going to wait for the impending turn that's going to occur. If if you take a look, we're going to uh, just stop at the, the uh, loop right there, and you can see these clouds. Right here is that upper trough that's in the eastern states, that uh, big upper low that's located up in the Ohio Valley, and uh, the winds aloft are turning more uh, to the south here, and we have a weakness in the upper ridge, which is right about there. So you're going to see Matthew start its turn, and it looks like it wants to make a, a beeline for Jamaica. It is, let, let me just get that. Let's get that. There we go. And it's going to make that turn, make it line up for Jamaica, then head over into eastern Cuba, and from there we're probably going to um, wind up in the Bahamas, but this is going to take a few days for the, this trip to uh, transpire, so we may not see it in the Bahamas until about Tuesday. Hurricane watches are up for Jamaica. We have tropical storm warnings that are up uh, for the south coast of the Dominican Republic on this track. <clears throat> they would be on the east in the eastern semicircle, so they would probably experience um, tropical storm conditions out of this as this system approaches. Now, we'll go to the wide satellite view of the U.S. Let me just, there we go. And you can see the upper low. This is, this is what we, is, is creating the weakness, this large circulation right in there. And the trough extends down into the Gulf of Mexico and into the Northwest Caribbean. Now, if this feature were to just sit there <clears throat> for many days, uh, we would eventually see uh, Matthew track around the circulation with south south with southerly winds along the east coast but the upper low is actually going to wind up moving northeastward and weakening so we're going to change the upper pattern uh, over the next uh, three or four days at the time that matthew is going to make its approach down into the bahamas uh, we're going to have the um, new gfs run and i will cut a separate video once that run is done uh and and you can we'll We'll do this again, and we'll be able to see uh, what one of the global models is going to be doing with all this. So um, once again, uh, we've once again to uh, go over it real fast. We've got Category Five Hurricane Matthew, top winds 160 miles an hour, and it might intensify a little bit more. Then there's going to be an eye wall replacement cycle. Uh, what that is is the eye just basically breaks down as it uses up all the energy that it's used up, and then 
it fires up again. So we may see the strengthening level off, and then we'll see what happens uh, when the uh, eye wall is replaced. Uh, sometimes these things like to have a second burst of intensification. And if uh, whether that happens or not, it still appears that by the time it gets to Jamaica, this uh, hurricane will still be at the very least a Category 4 hurricane. So don't forget, uh, you can check all the latest weather on meteorologistjoechaffee.com ssstormchasers.com uh, also uh, for more on uh, hurricane, uh, hurricane Matthew and other severe weather that's going on uh, and uh, we also have weatherlongisland.com and we will be launching on Saturday a new website nycweathernow.com so look for all of those uh, websites uh, to uh, enhance uh, the uh, video here uh, we'll be uh, putting up a post uh, regarding uh, Hurricane Matthew.